Oh, I see you also saw Dan the Turtle Man talking about the fake barnacle epidemic on YouTube. I haven't watched this full video on it, but I did start going down that rabbit hole. This is something I've talked about at length in the past, but I never knew that it extended to even turtles. So to kind of break down the situation, there's a lot of channels on YouTube that glue barnacles and shit to turtles' shells and pretend to rescue them by just like scraping the shit out of their shells to get the barnacles off. And Dan the Turtle Man exposed all of these channels that are doing it, talked about like how fucked up it is, which obviously it's fucked up. And uh, I started looking at the channels. It is a huge industry. Some of the videos have like 72 million views on some of the channels. It's awful. The, all of those animal rescue channels people watch, at least almost all of them, the majority of them are staged and putting the animals in dangerous situations for the sake of saving them. One of the most egregious ones that I think a lot of people remember was the one involving a kitten. So they kept using the same kitten and putting the kitten in danger. So like, kitten being strangled by a python, but we saved it. Or kitten paws stuck in railroad tracks and we saved it. Kitten, if I remember correctly, one of them was actually... A, Kitten stuck in a bottle in a river, and we saved it. Where they just literally stuffed the fucking cat in a bottle, threw it in a river, and then saved it. Cat died. They were like, hey, we found, we found her, but weren't able to save her. Or something like that. It's a horrifying trend that gets so many views. So, so, so many views. Because it plays off people's, like, desire to see good, wholesome things and happy endings. Even though it's all staged, but they're really putting the animals in the situation. And you, you only have to, like, watch one of them for a second to realize how fake it is. Like, I don't know how anyone could ever digest that content thinking that it's real. Blows my fucking mind. Yeah, you really think there's an entire, entire channel that somehow just keeps finding the same four puppies over and over again, stuck under cars, stuck getting attacked by snakes, stuck in oil and grease... Like, how dumb can you possibly be? Oh yeah, Nick, yeah, Nick Crowley has a whole video dedicated to that whole rabbit hole. Fake ticks on cats was gross too. Yeah, that's another one. And they always do it as ASMR. Like, almost all of them are labeled as, like, saving animal ASMR. It's so weird. No, there definitely are real animal rescuers on YouTube. It's not all of them. It's just most of them. Thanks for your sub Tetramino. Oh, I remember that one, Tori. Yep, that one was awful. Thanks for your sub H and W. Dude got called out when the turtle he saved was a freshwater turtle he found at a beach shore. Well, yeah, so like I said, I haven't watched all the entire Dan video. I just saw his um, clips on it. But he calls out a lot of them and shows how they're fake, explains how they're fake. And watching them, it's very clear they're fucking fake. But they actually do glue this shit to the turtles, like hot glue it, which according to Dan, there's nerve endings in a turtle's shell, so they feel that and are hurt by it. And then obviously the scraping and poking and prodding and damaging of the shell is painful to them as well. All for the sake of YouTube views. Yeah, I don't know shit about turtles. I, I really don't know shit about turtles. So Dan was like the, the one explaining everything very well.